it's Brad here again with another Minecraft tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install custom apps for both single player and multiplayer and both and including RAR files. So let's start off with single player. Single player is probably one of the most easiest methods because it's really easy and it doesn't require a lot of work. So to do this, to bring up where you want to insert it, I have this in a link description. This is a code you're going to want to insert in term terminal. So you're going to want to go copy and you're going to want to go open terminal in spotlight or wherever you, ha you usually do. And then you're going to want to do copy and paste it there. Hit enter. And it should come up with like bin, saves, resources, and stuff like that. And then you're, you're going to want to fo really focus on saves because that's where single player saves are located. And so these are all like worlds I've done in the past. So let's just say you want to download oh my custom maps. You want to download a map called Creeper Survival made by Hypixel who is actually really, who's really awesome by the way. You should look him up. So all you have to do really if it comes like in a folder like this you're going to want to like click on it to make sure it isn't like in a there's another like world folder, but if it has like stuff like data and stuff like this, you don't want to mess with it. Just drag the file and like so. Now this is probably one of the most easiest methods to do it for those kinds of files. And then you just go right in here, log in. And this is for 1.4.7, the latest update. Go to single. Uh, sorry guys, single player, and there it is, Creeper Survival. And this is a custom world I did not make, by the way. And Hypixel, he is really good at making maps, so I seriously think you guys should look him up. I swear, I mean, he's amazing. So, I'm just going to delete that. Now, for RAR files... If it has files that look like this, like a piece of paper, those are a little bit tricky. You can't just insert them like so, like you, we just did in the past with this kind of file. You're going to need to download this called go to Google, and you're going to need to find a, a software called Un, UnRARX, which is basically like WinRAR for Mac, only for Mac. WinRAR for Windows, but it's a Mac version. So, you're going to want to just download this. There is no threat to it. Just automatically downloads it, and then you just drag it into the desktop. And when you do open it, it'll come up with stuff like this. Now, to use, like, open files like that, you want to open with other, and you're going to want to find UnRARX in here. However, sometimes that's like a text file. So we should try to find a RAR file that is a So let's go in here and just see if we can find like some sort of RAR file. So how about this? Let's see. Download map. And see, you can see that it has this the same symbol for the RARX because what's really cool about this is, is it's not like you have to have this open. It'll if any .rar file is downloaded, it'll automatically open it with a the unrarx. So let's just wait for this to download. It's not like I'm gonna play this world. I have no idea what it is. So, as you can see, it just waits. It has to, you have to be patient sometimes, but sometimes they're rather small files. But you never know. I mean. Okay, so you're just going to open it. And you see that it has it. It is working. It's doing its thing. And you need to wait for it to, like, be all okay and then in here this is where you decide where you want it to extract to 
So let's just go to desktop. And then we hit extract. And you have to wait for it to do its thing. And then it's done. And basically it's now like a a world folder like this. And all I have to do is just insert it like you did with the other world that was already in that form. Pretty simple, right? Okay. So for multiplayer, now this is where it gets where it gets a little bit tricky. So if you haven't already, you you're you're gonna need a Minecraft server. And I need to save this world because me and my friend are playing this. We'll just name it World Two. So that way it doesn't like replace it. Put that out there. And then let's just say we wanted to play Creeper Survival again. I mean double click. And I want to make sure there's like nothing, there is like a, not another world file in there. And then you just drag it in here. Now, this is the part most people mess up. Because most of the time you just drag it in here and then oh, start the server. You can't do that. You have to name it the name that it is in server properties, the level name. If the le level name is world, you have to name the world folder that you put in also world. So to do that, you go to Get Info and Name an Extension, and you need to switch, name it World, like so. And then you do the same thing. Just run the server. It will. Oh, sorry, that's not even Minecraft. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just a little bit tired right now. And then, you just go to multiplayer, or go to your server, <laughs> my Minecraft server. Oh, sorry, I spawned like outside of the map. Yep. And then, boom! As you can see, it's the same map, same detail, same everything. Bring that up. Stop server. As you see, it didn't make another world folder. All I have to do is drag that one in. Drag the one. All I have to do is drag it in, that one in. And then just name it world. And I'm set. And so you do the same thing with the .rar files. If you have like a .rar file you want to play on multiplayer, do the same thing. Download this. Extract all and make a world folder like this. Insert it. And then boom it's done so anyways guys i really hope this tutorial was helpful for you for those who don't know how to do these kind of things and yeah that's about it so basketball brad is signing out and bye guys